Another way of performing a reflection is by using a formula. Once you know the formulas, the rest is super easy. A reflection is represented by a small s. We will discuss two reflection lines in this lesson. The horizontal axis, x, and the vertical axis, y. When the reflection line is on the x-axis, the formula is s on the x-axis is x, y becomes x minus y. When the reflection line is on the y-axis, the formula is s on the y-axis is x, y becomes minus x, y. All you have to do is replace the x and y with your x and y coordinates. By using the formula, you get way faster at this. Example. Reflect the following points across the x-axis. Remember that you can solve this without a graph by applying the formula. The formula for a reflection across the x-axis is x, y comes x minus y. You need to apply the formula to each point. Let's start with D. If D is minus 1, 4, a reflection across the x-axis becomes D prime equals minus 1, minus 4. If E equals 3, 7, a reflection across the x-axis becomes E prime equals 3 minus 7. Same thing with F. If F equals minus 4, 2, a reflection across the x-axis becomes F prime equals minus 4, minus 2. Now let's take a look at reflecting points across the y-axis. The formula for a reflection across the y-axis is xy becomes minus xy. In order to reflect these points across the y-axis, you need to apply the formula to each point. Let's start with D. If D equals minus 1, 4, a reflection across the y-axis equals D prime equals 1, 4. If E is 3, 7, a reflection across the y-axis means that E prime is minus 3, 7. Same thing for F. If F is minus 4, 2, a reflection across the y-axis is F prime is equal to 4, 2. See our tips section for more details. Okay, Eric Bobby, why don't we use another vertical axis for you? Much better. Re